Idaho murders suspect Brian Kohlberger had photos of victim on phone weeks after massacre? Report. It was not immediately clear who took the pictures or when Idaho murders suspect Brian Kohlberger, a 28-year-old criminology PhD student, reportedly had pictures of one of the women he is accused of killing on his phone when police arrested him more than a month and a half after the attacks. Shortly after the November 13, 2022, slayings, the case made national headlines, news coverage exploded, and tens of thousands of social media sleuths flocked to Facebook, Reddit, and other outlets to discuss every detail. Pennsylvania police arrested Koberger at his parents' house in the Pocono Mountains on December 30. When they took his phone, they allegedly found multiple pictures of one of the four victims, who were all 20 or 21 years old, according to People. By the time of Koberger's arrest, pictures of Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gontkalves, Kernodal and Ethan Chapin were ubiquitous. And People's unnamed source reportedly did not specify whether the pictures had been taken by the suspect when they had been taken, or if they were ripped off social media. He had more than one picture of her, the source told the magazine. It was clear that he was paying attention to her. Paulus have alleged in court filings that Koberger stalked the King Road home, where the murders took place at least a dozen times prior to the late night stabbings and returned once again hours after the killings. But the six-bedroom rental home, just steps off campus, was also known among University of Idaho students as a party house, with dozens of people coming and going on a given weekend. Kohlberger was attending Washington State University, roughly seven miles away. His lawyer will just say he's a true crime fan, said Joseph Jacalone, a retired NYPD surgeon and professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. He said the pictures would be a nothing burger, unless prosecutors can prove when he downloaded them. The case is subject to a gag order, which itself is currently being challenged by a coalition of media organizations and the attorney for Goncal's family, a Moscow, Idaho. Police spokesman said he could not comment due to the order. Koberger is being held without bail at the Lada County Jail in Moscow. He is due back in court on June 26 and could face the death penalty if convicted on any one of the four counts of first-degree murder he faces. He is also charged with felony burglary.